I mean, other people them keep saying that you, you look like you're a mean person. Show them that you're not mean right now, please. <laughs> Show them that you're not mean on camera. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> Duper 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 alert today. Um, I was actually talking with some clients, talking with some agents, my cousin, trying to work out something from mummy, talking with Chad, you know, all these things. I just I had high hopes for today. I'm not gonna lie to you, I had high hopes. Like I wanted to go over to Astoria because I noticed that there were some like very affordable museums and there were some of them were some of them, if not free, were like $12. Um, and they looked really cool, so I was trying to go over there, but it didn't work out. Now I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go hit up Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. I'm gonna go hit up Chipotle, and I'm gonna go to CVS because I haven't bought not one Halloween decoration and I need to. Um, I was gonna buy some clothes, and I was up this morning at like 2 a.m. shopping on Pretty Little Thing. Like, I put about 13 items in my cart, and they had a sale going on, and it was like a flash sale, 60% 60, um, 60 off everything. So in my head, I was thinking, okay, everything, everything as in the sale as well. But, you know, I should have read the fine print, so that's fine. Sale wasn't in the 60% off because it was already sale, you get me? But I had some full price items in my cart, and it didn't even budge. It was like not included in the sale. So I'm like, what is, why is any of this in my cart? Why is any of this in my cart? And I got so upset, I just exited the cart, exit the tab, locked the computer down and go sleep. At 2 a.m. in the morning, you know, I spent like, I think, an hour and a half finding clothes. Like, I searched all the numbers at the bottom of the tab. Um, anyways, let me head to this place and I will see you guys when I see you guys. Hey guys, so here's a proper entry to the vlog or intro to the vlog. Um, right now I'm heading on my way to Astoria, Queens. I see that they have a couple museums out there that look really, really cute and fun. Um, I'm actually going to put the address in on my phone. Not my phone. I'm going to use the address from my phone and put into the navigation. Um, it took me a while to get up and go and it's been a couple days since I've actually wanted to leave the house and go do something but I'm by myself and I'm just like I know I'll have fun by myself and that's fine it's just the initial step of actually going out by myself you know if you if you relate drop a comment down below and let us know what makes it easier for you to go and do something by yourself <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm here in front of the Museum of Motion or Moving Images. I don't want to say the wrong thing because on Instagram maps it tagged it and said Museum of Motion, but it's called Museum of Moving Images. But they're closed. Today's a Monday and their temporary hours are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There's another, see? Museum of Moving Images. There's another, um, there's another museum in the area. I'm just gonna have to try to find it and see if I can get to it before like seven o'clock. Um, it looks cool, but it's definitely empty. Yeah, it's definitely when we walk back to the car because I shouldn't be too far I took some pictures pop, 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 pop. yeah that's what they look like um, I feel liberating I feel happy because I took those so many people were staring so it's like really awkward but if you don't do something because someone's watching then you're just not ready but I always recommend to just do it for the fun of it 
people just don't care they're curious but they truly don't care um yeah this is Kaufman Kaufman Astoria I don't really know what it is it says studios so maybe they filmed movies in here I think these look kind of cool make me feel like I'm in the UK they're definitely locked but um it's chilly it's so chilly I think they definitely filmed some movies in here because they have some actors on the sides of the boxes which would lead me to think that's what they did um the area is really cute got tacos burgers couples school children starbucks this is where i stepped in a puddle of water the embarrassment when i stepped in this water when i was crossing the street i had to walk back to the car walk back to the car and wash my foot off with water i feel like i'm not tired i'm just cold and the air it's like it's too cold for me to take in i don't know how to explain it like if you understand you understand guys i just locked my hair in the car bro like oh, the ghetto come here okay it's so cold outside it's not even making sense like this is not real it's bricks bricks outside man it's cold so cold i'm just gonna warm myself up this is definitely an outfit you wear in the summer like i will be wearing it in jamaica more often but it's definitely really cold i mean i would wear it with tights legging not leggings yeah tights let's call it tight finally i've gotten over the fear of like you know not knowing what the hell I was gonna do even though I knew what I was gonna do I've gotten over the fear I've gotten over the hump of actually leaving the house so hopefully tomorrow I can leave the house to take another set of pictures to post on my Instagram um, I'll try to bring one or two more items of clothing so I can change and take like two or three pictures to upload um because i want to make instagram a source of revenue and i need to grow my instagram so if you haven't followed me over there it would mean so much to me like to give me a follow to give one of my pictures a like like i'm trying to make some more revenue from the websites okay the online i'm trying to make that sound like an old person <laughs> no shame to anybody old like i'm not calling you old i'm not saying but i just said the online wow if i was young i would drag myself because you know kids are rude like that but i'm trying to make more money online and i know i can do it i just need to be consistent um and i need to post good content and i know i have good content i just need to be consistent so i'm begging you guys and i don't beg please go over check the link i'm i'm gonna put it in the top i'm gonna put it in the first line um and i'm gonna put it in my caption my my first comment please click the link and follow me on instagram if you have an instagram i promise i won't fail you i'll upload good content and i'll be consistent so i'm chatting 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 um let me find something to actually do and then i'll be right back i have an idea i'm gonna drive to mommy's workplace right now and it basically takes me it basically takes me through manhattan but it's taking me through central park and i'm like can people even drive through central park Man, I have stress issues because this GPS. <sighs> We're just gonna go on an adventure. I think I'm gonna post this vlog as one vlog. We're just gonna drive in New York City and hopefully we don't get lost. We're gonna drive from Queens to Manhattan. <laughs> hopefully we don't get lost. So let's go. So we are, we are here. We're gonna go through here, go over here go through the park go up go up 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 and there Blue 
drop, who jewels got blocks? Who's mostly don't she down to the two drop? The same old pimp, face, you know, ain't nothing changed but my limp. Okay, Stop. so I'm about to head to Park Avenue. Um, and honestly, I'm only following everybody else because I'm confused. These, oh, let me not say it on camera. These people won't let me over. Let me over! Somebody let me over. This car is so... Dang, this car was so mean. It's really pretty. Don't for one second think I'm looking at this camera because I'm just hoping I capture. Is this a Sephora? What is this place? Is this place is cute? You can't go on speed, cause you know where I go. Man, I know where I go. Boy, yeah, speed, speed for go where. Anyways, I'm gonna need to turn right on the next street. This is overwhelming. Left turn. Wow, it's so pretty. Right I'm the type of driver that likes to sightsee, so like me having to focus dead in front of me because i don't know where i am it's kind of annoying because i like to look i like to observe especially when i'm in like places like new york city or like country for jamaica if that makes sense like places that are just because new york city is beautiful in its own way i know it's like literally a concrete jungle you get me like buildings left right and center skyscrapers it's really beautiful like seeing man-made construction like man-made beauty but then it's also super beautiful seeing just greenery vegetation i guess i'm turning right here vegetation you get me um so when i have to like really pay attention i'm following this car in front of me because it appears that we're going the same place come on let me pass let me pass in a quarter mile turn left onto east 66th street I hope that didn't pick up as a red light, like I broke the light because I did not break the lights. This is my proof I did not break it. Wow, it's so pretty. Lowe's Regency New York Hotel, wow. Is that not beautiful? Now this is where I want to come and take some pictures. This is why I wish I had somebody with me. Um, So... I don't know. I'm gonna take the the train here, the subway. Let me say it like New Yorkers. I'm gonna take the. Uh, you were supposed to be my driving partner. Where are you going? Ugh, can't trust these people no more, man. Oh, that's um. Left turn ahead. That's definitely an embassy of some sort, right? Turn left onto East 66th Street. Okay, so I'm gonna turn left at the next street. So I need to go over here. So let me do this from now. watch traffic look at that we can't even turn and that's to go where that's to go to like grand central or something central park i mean wow uh -uh, where do you think girl if you don't <laughs> i mean truck <laughs> in front of me bright come here come on taxi free up oh it's a red light oh i didn't know that bright but my try coming in front of me but i'll go over there so same day over there so bright anyways i'm gonna pass me still because it look like lord jesus anyways i hope i don't itch up behind this man oh. on the brighty i gotta be rough in these streets wow all right we'll be back when there's an update guys we are on madison ave okay this camera is being a hater. We are on Madison Avenue. Madison Avenue. Wow. It's almost time to hit the road again, so let me zoom out. Bam! GPS is looking real nice. Anyways, I gotta go. Looking like it's time for the light to change. I'm tempted to park. I'm not going to, but I'm tempted to park and go into Central Park. No pun intended. I'm tempted to park. No, it doesn't make sense. Um, wow, I've never driven through Central Park before. This is so cool. I didn't even know you could do that. Like, I didn't know you could do that. Let me show you. 
Look, you can drive through the park. Isn't that cool? All right, I'll be right back. We're driving through Central Park. And there's a lot of other cars and buses here, so I think my stage of feeling special that I'm able to drive through Central Park is over because I feel like everybody has driven through or at least been drove through Central Park and I just didn't know you could do that. So don't come for me in the comments talking about, oh, that's so basic or that's that's a regular stegler thing. I didn't know. Am I turning left? Next right and Next then right. left turn. God almighty. Oh, crap. Okay, so I just had to beg a lie because I was gonna turn I'm um, there's two GPS on and I'm following the one on my phone because I realized this one and mommy realized it too is always trying to bring you to toll and the toll is expensive especially when you keep doing it like repeated repetitively over time you get me it adds up um so yeah I went on the phone and I clicked no toll so I'm trying to follow that one but I don't want to turn off the this one just in case I make a mistake like I want to have two but they're kind of taking me in different different directions um, eventually they'll pop out on the same path because um, the car updated when I went to the park because the car wasn't trying to take me to the park before um, but it updated and I'm seeing that at some point it's gonna be on the same route like probably in the next three minutes Wow I wish I could show you where I'm at right now this car in front of me is taking the piss, bro. Like, what are you doing? <sighs> Anywho, I had to beg. Oh, watch, watch Subway. I had to beg a bligh a while ago because I was gonna. Is this Juilliard? Wow, a lot of actors. Viola Davis went here. I don't know who else went here. I think. There's like one other person that I know I've heard the name went here, but Viola Davis definitely went here. We made it! We made it! We made it! Tried to trip me up a couple times but we made it now i'm gonna try to find parking because i really need a pay and then i'm gonna hit you guys up with some is that a spot oh my god i wish i could turn into that spot no it's a fire hydrant oh i hate that <sighs> okay guys so we definitely made it that is amazing no lostness coming from me very very happy if you're still here you might as well go check out my instagram Bicana Brown. Um, give it a follow, give it a like, give it a share. Um, also, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And if not tonight, I will definitely see you tomorrow. Peace out. I'm still waiting on mommy, and I'm honestly trying to figure out. I'm feeling for some Chinese food, and ever since I've been up here, mommy's been trying to give me beer Jamaican food, but I'm like, I can get this far cheaper. This. <laughs> I was just like, you want some of this? There's a Jamaican restaurant right here, and like, mommy was with me the same time. Like, we came up at the same time. Yeah. I don't want no more Jamaican food right now. I want to go back, and I want to have wow. Look at the um set up door. I want to have the food in Jamaica. I want to have Jamaican people just the fried chicken differently. Like, ugh, I love fried chicken. That's just me. Um. Oxtail up here though is nice. I'm not gonna lie. Restaurant Uncle Danny bring me some food two nights ago and it was oxtail chicken and, and brown rice or something like that. And rice and peas, I should say. It was so nice. I can give them that. And um, when it's home cooked food, home cooked Jamaican food, like, yeah, I don't mind. It's nice and it's dinner. It's home cooked food, you know? But when we go out, I wanna get stuff that I want and can't get you know what i mean like chipotle i've already gotten like chipotle already so i'm gonna get it again probably one more time sushi i don't know i can't get no sushi i'm gonna get some sushi i'm gonna try to get some sushi tomorrow or my next outing into manhattan and then chinese food for some reason i just really i've been craving chinese food like i don't know why i don't know why 
let me find a couple mm, i don't know please like comment and subscribe and if i ended off here i'm so sorry but i will see you in the next video but i'm gonna try to find some questions and maybe come back and answer some or i could just wait until i do an official q a because i haven't done one in a long time i invest i didn't time did i look out still yeah everything happened for a reason look who's here with me guys i'm gonna fight with Can you imagine being stuck on this bridge and see Godzilla come as I want? I just come to our job. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, guys. So today we're heading to the mall. We're at the mall right now. I'm gonna go shopping, so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and mommy. Mommy's always walking into the the jewelry place is Target now and it's very windy allegedly allegedly it's 88 degrees but I don't believe that I'm gonna turn off the camera because I don't know if they're gonna allow me to record in here and then we get inside welcome to Target our next destination we're actually gonna check out the skincare section. Um, yeah, Target is definitely like that rich older woman's store. <laughs> but like you see a lot of young girls in here. It's Target, not Target, which is cute. I'm gonna even change my voice for this store, you know. Not the baby sculpture um, mannequins, this is too cute. All right, guys, let me shop around and then I'll be right back. Their fall stuff is definitely really cute. I bought some things online yesterday for my little Halloween party that I'm having. Um, and I'm really excited about it. I need to vlog, so I'll be right back. I need to TikTok, so I'll be right back. And then they have shopping with mommy continues. We're heading into Best Buy. So as you just saw, we left Target, which isn't really too far now. Target is right there. Um, here into Best Buy. She needs to buy something for her friend. Um, he drives trucks or whatever. Um, and so he wants one of the headpieces that go completely over your head and have the microphone. Like, you know, the gamer headpieces, but it's for truck drivers um so we're gonna go check out to see what they have i'm gonna look in their tech session fast around and guys the iphone 11 13 is out i'm thinking maybe i should get it but the funds man donate to my paypal join my patreon <laughs> all right okay my beautiful and handsome subscribers we're back in the car finished with best buy we're on our way to walmart now this is what my bracelet is looking like the only reason why i got this one is because my other one broke so when i get back to jamaica i'll put the charms that i have from the other one on this one and this is just my hair tie all right so this might be our final destination of 
the day maybe it's way too early for mommy to be saying i'm so tired but she's tired so We are done with Walmart. We weren't successful. However, mommy bought grandma some tunnel. Um, I can't wait to get the rest of these charms when I get back to Jamaica because it's just beer. It be are embarrassing. I'm just kidding. It's not embarrassing, but it's just so empty, you know? All right, people, people, people. Mommy said we can look for a movie, so don't pull off it. You forget? Turn on the car, please. Um, and let me try to use someone's I've been trying to get mommy to um for us to watch Venom because we watch Venom together do we watch it at home or do we watch it at the movies I have no idea mommy you know the people that keep saying that you, you look like you're a mean person show them that you're not mean right now please <laughs> show them that you're not mean on camera <laughs> please <laughs> That's what your people are saying. Yes. Very mean. Everybody's like, oh my god, she doesn't smile. Oh my god, but Connie, your mom looks so mean. Like obviously you you saw oh and by the way, where's your manners? Thank the people them oh, for the, um, the comments. You know how much people are um, commenting and all this I can't even get back to someone. I feel so bad, but if I like it, you know, obviously mommy. Okay, thank you all. Look at the lens. <laughs> Right. Give him a proper thanks. Mom. This is a graduation speech, guys. Prepare yourself. Drum roll. <laughs> All right, so I want to say thank you to everyone who wish me all the best and congrats for achieving my doctorate and my geriatric nurse practitioner. I really appreciate you all. Mm -hmm. And thank you all for supporting my daughter and her, YouTube, and her YouTube channel. I really, really appreciate it. What about love. what about the people them who are going into it? Because um, we did get a bunch of comments from people who said they're doing their doctorate um, of nursing or they're in their RN stage or you know okay. they're in their NP stage. Have any advice for them? Well, you want me to be honest? Or? Yes, be honest. Well, <clears throat> to all of those folks who are up. doing their RN, um, congrats! It's a lot of work. I would not do it again for nothing or for even a million dollars. I wouldn't. Not it's true. one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. Nursing Other school. than give birth to a goddess? <laughs> Labor was four hours. It was the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. Yes. As I was saying. Um, yeah, it's very difficult, nursing school. Um, my advice to you is this. Um, take it serious. Don't go in it just because of the job stability or the fact that you're going to be guaranteed a paycheck at the end of your two, every two weeks or every week as per traveler. But go in it because you really want to help people and you really want to see a difference in healthcare. Um, too often I have seen, seen a lot of new nurses who have a sense of entitlement. Yes, our education is very rigorous. But that does not entitle us to anything. We are here to take care of our patient and to give them the best possible care. So leave the attitude, leave the entitlement, and just be humble and give the best care you can. For my fellow friends who are going for their doctorate, congrats. Now, <clears throat> maybe you're a little better than I was. I didn't do my research, I just jumped right in. Um, Doing a doctorate is a lot of research, a lot of reading, a lot of paper writing, a lot of everything, you name it. But it's so much enlightenment. It opens your eyes to so much. You you look at healthcare from all different angles, from the political side, from the nurse's side to the patient side to even the side that you don't even want to see. But you have learned so much you will learn so much in regards to um, healthcare and taking care of patients. And you will learn so much about yourself because it is no easy feat. You will have to work hard, you have to read, you have to prepare yourself. For my fellow nurse practitioners, hmm, I haven't started practicing yet, but that's a choice. But um, that too is very difficult. Some, for some students, it's very hard to find sites. So be prepared to start looking your site from early on before you go for your um, clinicals. 
start kind of mapping out getting your, your network out there knowing some nurse practitioners and some doctors who will take you in because like for example this, the, the university that I went to it pretty much dominates Buffalo so I didn't have any problem but my friends who went to other schools like Doyaville and Damien they had a lot of issues finding um, their clinical sites some of them even after they finish a year they still have to do their clinicals in order to sit their boards so that's something that you have to be on if you're doing those out-of-state um, courses do some network get some nurse practitioners and of course um, make your link early out so you, you can get your stuff out of the way the board was easy you just have to study I studied for like three days and I got it down so you can do it it's not hard just basically inbox my daughter and I can tell her which book to get and so you can study comment down below <laughs> <laughs> um, yes um, for my friends who are going into education with their doctorate I'll be following you shortly I will be following you shortly because we need to prepare these new nurses coming out so that they can be good nurses and nurses who work from the foundation up instead of the ones who think they're up there and coming down all right but thank you all for the love you're giving my baby <laughs> and I am a nice person sometimes <laughs> all nurses out there know mommy smiles we are very nice mommy smiles every now we and know then when to say no and we know when to say yes mm -hmm. do I need to do anything else bro no <laughs> I'm not forcing you <laughs> All right, guys, so please leave a comment down below if you want to get some more information from my mother. And then if you want to say anything, just leave a comment down below, like this video, make sure you are subscribed, and I will see you. So now we're going to find some movie times, and I'll catch you guys later. So we found a movie theater. We're gonna watch Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Uh, now mommy has to pay for a two hour parking, right? It is actually very bright. Actually, I was saying that they lied. Talking about, oh, it's, it's 88 degrees. It actually feels like 88 degrees now. Right meter, you pay for? There, this car. Is the right meter this car? It points to it. Okay. Alright guys, I'll be right back. Right, guys I never told you this before but I took my first shot of the COVID vaccine I didn't really want to do it but I did it and now I'm taking my second shot so I'm bringing you guys along with me I made an appointment for 7 15 and it was like 7 11 so let me just go take this vaccine and then I'll talk to you guys a little bit about it I Welcome to the vlog. My name is Bikana. I create lifestyle, travel, and real estate videos in Jamaica. But today, right now, in this vlog, I'm in New York City. I'm actually doing a shoot day. So this two-piece set is by Body. It's a workout two-piece set. So I'm actually going to do a photo shoot for it. I brought some weights with me. And I actually have three, three sets of clothing. Um, three sets of outfits, I guess. Um, I have my tripod, my phone, my camera. I will be vlogging and I'll be taking pictures in public. So I'm going to try to show you my best how I do it. I haven't been doing it for a couple months because I've been a bit self-conscious and I've been staying, I've been staying at home. 
by myself and you know like I used to love having my cousins take pictures for me but even that just doesn't do it for me I really like um, tripod pictures I'm sorry like I don't like you could be the best photographer in the world but I feel like when I have control over what my pictures look like the vision that I have in my head then I'm more pleased with the outcome even if I do ask somebody to take my picture I have to like tell you exactly like I have to put the phone position it exactly where I want the picture to be taken and then just have you hold it and that's what I did with my mom and she takes great pictures when I do it like that but it just does, doesn't work like that for everybody and I feel like tripods are the safest bet but I know some people can be quite nervous when taking their own pictures in public so when I get to the location I'm gonna try to give you a couple tips that is that is that has I'm gonna give you a couple tips that have helped me in the past so yeah all right guys so I found a parking lot by the way I'm at a mall I'm actually gonna go shopping after this but I found a parking deck actually and I'm gonna take pictures over there so I feel like this is perfect so we're gonna try to set up our tripod now with my phone let me um put this camera somewhere that you can see and then we're gonna get the party started all right again so here's the outfit that I'm taking a picture in right now two-piece set by body fits in to the thumb as well fits into the thumb um, I actually have some weights with me as well so this is what it's looking like I have a discount code BECANA10 so go down into the description box and copy and paste the description code on their website and have fun shopping on me <laughs> okay so here's the um tripod this is a new one that I bought because the other one that I had was so flimsy this was cost effective as well I'll link my Amazon storefront down below it was $27 so it's pretty fairly priced especially for the quality it's really not a bad quality and it has so much the other one that I had was cheap um, but this is pretty thick so firstly an advice that I want to give you I used to set my tripod all the way up so it would be like this height you don't need it to be that high um, I watched some videos on YouTube and I'll link them down below um, and their tripods were probably set up at waist level and then the, the camera it was just the perfect angle it was the perfect angle it was not too high not too low unless you want it to be higher than you and unless you want it to be lower than you then you really don't have to um to put it that high you know so i only pull down two two levels not all the way to the third one and i find that to be the perfect angle for my pictures i also have grid set up on my camera so i'll show that to you so when you go to your camera, you can go into your camera settings again. I will leave some videos down below that you can try to look for. So when you go to your camera settings, you'll see those lines. That's the grid setup. Um, yeah, it's just mall security driving around a while ago. They're looking at me, but I'm glad that they are driving around because, you know, anything. Um, also comes with a clicker. So I'll be standing there and clicking and taking my pictures I prefer that over the timer because if I set the timer then I'm just gonna have to constantly have to you know look and look and look and look um, he's probably gonna circle back and ask me if I'm okay so let me tell him that yes I'm okay I'll be right back so the security did circle back um, I just had to change into my sneakers I think he saw that and then there's some other cars that pulled up so I don't know if he's continuously circling back but I want to take my picture without him watching me but I'm glad that he is patrolling the floor but it's like mad people pulling up so give me a second let me figure out because this is getting awkward and plus I just turned on my Bluetooth clicker um, so it automatically connects to my phone and it's gonna basically take pictures I'll show you so if we go to photo hold up see there we go 
it takes a picture as you press the button. So what you can do is hide the clicker. Um, it has a little thing on it because I put it on there, but you don't have to put it, but I don't want to drop it or lose it anywhere. You can hide it, put your hand somewhere that people won't see and click. If you have a longer jacket, then you can put the clicker um, you know, further in your jacket and click, put your hand in your pocket, click, you know, just hide it, make it better for you. Anyways, let's go set up and I'll show you guys how I take these pictures. Alrighty guys, so the advice I would give you other than, you know, just be confident, it's try multiple locations. Um, I think I stood in one spot for about 20 minutes trying to take a good picture and it wasn't working out for me. That spot just was not for me. The lighting, composition, and everything. So try different spots. There's nothing wrong with picking up your camera and moving. 10 times if you have to literally my camera roll has about 75 odd pictures right now just do what you want to do and be confident in it and you're good you know yeah all right guys so i tried to find something in macy's but they didn't really have anything that i liked in my size so maybe i'll go to jc penny's or something um neiman marcus <laughs> There's H&M. I'm not sure I'll find anything in here, but let's see what I can do. All right, guys, so didn't see anything that I liked. I'm going to go find somewhere else. Remember, I live on an island, so all the warm clothes don't really apply for me because when I fly home next week, it's going to be like 90 degrees. So... There's a lot more warm clothes than I can account for. Um, and all the things that they do have on sale are really small or really big because everybody bought all the average, average sizes. Um, Urban Outfitters is giving a colorful winter printed um, texture. This belt is giving me 2007. It's giving me Y2K, but it wasn't Y2K a couple years ago. Anyways, the music's playing, so. Alrighty guys, so I finally got something. <laughs> I got something from Sephora. Um, birthday gift for Sashana. And I got a little product for myself. I'm actually going to go in T-Mobile and see. Um, go in T-Mobile and check out the new iPhone 13. And then I might pass back by lush and get a bath bomb for when i get back home um but yeah all right guys so i'm going with this one which is a rose jam it has rose oil rose absolute and fair trade shea butter so I feel like this one would be worth my skin, you know, which is um, butter bear, sink into silky fair trade cocoa butter, bear hug, and emerge with soft, sweetly scented skin. So it's really cute. So I'm gonna get that one. Lovely. This smells really nice. Um, it's chrysanthemum and cocoa butter. It smells so beautiful like it actually smells like the flower or the plant sorry um and then what else this smells something smelled really strong that i was like that's too strong for me i can't remember which one it was but i'm gonna get the two that i showed you and yeah let me just rinse my fingers off a little bit I'm trying to figure out exactly where I am right now um, I think I might end off right now with some sushi I didn't find any shoes that I like but I'm gonna check out forever 21 because sometimes they have some nice average height heels that I do like and sometimes they're on sale so we'll see but I'm just really surprised well I'm not surprised because Macy's really didn't have anything that fit me um the eight and a half was just done it was empty it was not a I'm not even gonna step into Neiman Marcus because what is a sale in Neiman's, Neiman Marcus? <laughs> so, and H&M didn't have any heels, they had bare boots. 
Um, so I'm just gonna try my luck with some other store. All right, guys. So instead of getting the sushi because I can't find it, <laughs> I'm gonna get Johnny Rockets. And I've walked around this um this you know cafe cafeteria. Uh, I can't remember exactly. The words are slipping me. I walked around it like four times trying to decide between Johnny Rockets, Chick Fil A, and some form of Asian food. And honestly, this is just what I came up with. the lighting but guys may get chop may get chop 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 um so I got my burger and I take a look at it take a look at the bag so this bag feels very light so I'm looking at bag and it's just literally just the um burger someone said this doesn't come with fries and whatever whatever you know it's just only because I ordered the milkshake separate while I thought, okay, maybe the manga asked me what drink I want, you know? Um, she's like, oh no, this is just it. I paid $9 for a burger. I am so upset. Just a burger. So disgusting. Zero out of ten. I'm gonna try the burger now, and if the burger does taste good, I'm gonna let you know. But like, how do you give just a burger for nine dollars? Um, I did I had no idea. Like, if I had known, I would have never ordered it. Sorry about that I got a call and I had to take it so I'm about to try the burger now I still would not recommend I'm sorry I would never recommend somebody to buy just a burger for basically ten dollars because I think it was like 950 or 960 or it wasn't 920 it was definitely above the 50s so it's basically ten dollars for a burger I would not recommend especially when it looks I'm sorry if you think I'm being mean um I would rather go to there's this place I think hold on let me think about it real quick I remember five guys five guys burger looks so much better than this I don't even I'm just disappointed I'm very upset I'm very upset and it's the principle it's not just the money it's the principle of it you didn't even put napkin in a bag though The burger tastes nice. Not gonna lie, it does taste nice. I think Five Guys would have done better, honestly. There wasn't any Five Guys in the mall. Right Hello. Uh, hi, yes, yeah, it's kind of nice. Yeah, I'm kind of sad. Kind of vexed me that I spent $9. On just a burger but yeah and the only reason why I'm never get them back to is because somebody did take them time to make this and I guess it's my fault for not reading the fine points I just assumed it came with fries because that's the norm but yeah 